I'm a caterer and a personal chef, and today I'm going to show you how to make fresh pasta. For your ingredients, we'll start with four and a half cups of unbleached all-purpose flour and four eggs. You'll start by taking your flour and pouring it onto your surface. Take a fork and make a well in the middle of your flour by just pushing along the sides. Now you're going to incorporate your eggs. It's easier to do them a couple at a time, just so you don't get egg everywhere. And just begin by stirring around in the flour until it's incorporated. And then you can add more egg. Just make sure you keep the well so that the egg doesn't go everywhere and you end up with a big mess. But you want to make sure you get it really incorporated in there. So you'll begin to notice your dough will get a little stringy. And this is a good thing. We want the dough to sort of come together, but it's going to be a really dry, dry stringy dough. Once you get it to this point, you can start kneading it with your hands. So your dough will be super dry. And what you want to do is you want to wrap it in plastic for about 30 minutes and let it rest before we roll it out. Once your dough is rested in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes, you can roll it out. So we'll take it out of the plastic. And we're going to put it onto a floured surface. You want to break it up into pieces that are manageable to work with. Take off a piece at a time. Piece just about like this size here. You're going to want to flour your pasta roller so that the pasta doesn't stick. And on the setting that's the highest, which is the biggest gap, you're going to start to feed your pasta through the machine. You're going to want to fold it on top of itself and then turn it sideways to put it in the machine again, also on the same setting. Fold in half again. And we're going to do the same setting three times. Now you'll turn your setting to the next smallest setting. Fold again, and if you need, you can reflower your roller. Fold again. You want to keep adjusting the thickness with the knob until you've reached the thickness that you want before you cut. Once you've reached your desired thickness, then you can go ahead and cut. Just move the knob over to your cutter and then feed in your pasta dough. Now we have beautiful fettuccine. Once your pasta is cut, you can lay it on a baking sheet with corn flour or corn meal so that it doesn't stick together until it's ready to be boiled. Because this is fresh pasta, it won't take as long to cook. 
possibly five, six minutes at the most. I'm Danine Green, and this has been How to Make Fresh Pasta.